The MIC gene is a family of genes that make proteins that regulate cell growth, cell death, and other cellular functions. The MIC gene is involved in many cancers, including leukemia, lymphoma, and relapsed multiple myeloma. Let's learn a bit more about the MIC gene. What is the MIC gene? There is a gene that's very important for controlling the way cells grow, which is called MYC, M-Y-C. And it's um, quite a common gene in cancers to um, go awry, so to be expressed when it shouldn't be expressed, meaning that cells grow very, very quickly. And it's a gene that's quite commonly seen in um, some of the brain cancers, but it's also seen in lymphoma. In myeloma, it's not quite so common until the myeloma has relapsed a few times, and then it can actually be very common, and those cells can grow incredibly quickly. And it gets um, expressed because there is a translocation, so a bit of chromosome 8 goes on to a bit of chromosome 14. And those two things, bringing those two things together, means this gene goes up. And one of the reasons it's important is because we know that patients who have that problem, their cells grow incredibly quickly and often don't respond to many of our current treatments. And so we're very keen on trying to look at ways of decreasing the expression of MYC and killing those cells off. Are there any therapies that can be used to overcome the MYC gene? Over the years, we've tried lots of different ways to target MYC. Um, clearly, some of the ways have been using traditional chemotherapy agents because we know that um, they are very good at killing off cells that grow very quickly, but they cause lots of side effects. And so now what many of the studies are trying to do is to use this epigenetic therapy. And so rather than, um, which is where we try to stop the MYC gene and therefore the MYC protein being expressed. Now, they're quite new therapies and we don't 100% have um, proof that they're going to work in the clinic, but they're a new way of trying to make sure that the gene doesn't get expressed, therefore the cell can't grow. They're BET domain inhibitors. To learn more about epigenetics, check out the Health Tree University lesson on epigenetics in the Basic Genetics and Tumor Biology course. MYC, MYC, MYC is everything. MYC is called the universal amplifier. It's a, it's a you know, one of the, the oldest known uh, oncogenes, and its function is to amplify whatever a cell is doing. And often, in a cancer cell, that means proliferation. Um, I think in myeloma, it amplifies you know, other things as well, um, such as the ability to, to make uh, and secrete a lot of antibody. Um, but it's really a, it's, it's a fundamental um, gene in, in all of cell biology and all of cancer biology. Unfortunately, it's, it's not a gene that we can typically um, target uh, with a drug because it's located down in the nucleus. It's, it's not an enzyme like the kinases. Um, and so um, I think we can, however, uh, maybe turn off the signals that turn Nick on. And one of the ways we do that is with uh, drugs like Revlimid, uh, which uh, inhibit a gene called Icarus, and Icarus is a critical component that turns on MYC in uh, myeloma patients. Is there a test that can tell if the MYC gene is turned on in a patient? The, the way to do it, the way, the way I do it in my laboratory, is with next generation sequencing. Um, you can identify the, these changes. And uh, we're looking to see if that correlates with um, response to therapy. Next generation sequencing, NGS is beginning to transform myeloma care, bringing advanced genetic insights to the clinic. Want to learn more? Check out the Health Tree University lesson on NGS in the Cytogenetic Testing in Myeloma course. To track your genetic profile, sign up for a Health Tree account. Once your medical records are connected, you can view your genetic profile by clicking the Track My Disease button on your dashboard.
You can also find personalized treatment options and relevant clinical trials based on your profile. Click the link in the description to join today. Thank you.